Hey, good morning, friends. Hi, it's Ravi. I'm welcoming you for another session uh, on live trading. Okay, let's get started. One second. Okay, good morning. Sorry for the delay. Okay, let's see how Nifty and Bank Nifty is placed. One second, let me just get this. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you see a uh, kind of a small gap of opening in case of Bank Nifty, and uh, if you see Bank Nifty, this is the CPR intermediate CPR that was formed from yesterday higher value CPR, and now it is at resistance. You can see this. This is the zone that is resistance, and it is uh, morning. It took the CPR support, and now it is just in the resistance zone. Okay. So looking bullish as of now, uh, but it is at the sell zone. Okay, so in case of uh, Bank Nifty, uh, Nifty, if you're seeing, Nifty uh, is little looking little bit weaker, and there's good chance of uh, coming and testing. Uh, we got a sell trigger at the very first candle, uh, where which the CPR is kind of compromised out here. Okay, and now it might come and test this blue color uh, zone that is your buy zone. Okay, so in case if you're short on Nifty, right? Uh, this uh, weekly R1 or what you call as BC out here that is where we can expect it to come okay so that is uh, maybe it might spend some time but eventually it will come and test this buy zone so if you are short on nifty you can hold on okay but uh, bank nifty as of now no signs it is showing some bullish signs out here let's wait for this okay so this is the first five minutes high is getting breached on the upside if it sustains we can expect it to come and test this okay so let's wait and see Good morning, Mountha Power. Good morning, Shu. <laughs> morning, Sampad. Sharad, morning. Okay, let's see. Okay, the bulls are still holding on in case of Nifty. For Bank Nifty. Nifty, it's showing some weakness. If the CPR mid is compromised, right, uh, we can expect it to come and test this lower uh, 18415 level. Nifty is pulled back from the previous day highest take note and uh, as I said like this bullish breakout zone right that is 43,292 uh, is the first level to be watched out uh, on the upside in case uh, if this 5 minutes is taken out. You can see this is the first good resistance that is that 43 uh, orange line you are seeing right that is the intermediate CPS R1 that is the level to watch out that is taken out this is what we are expecting okay on the upside. Uh, no, uh, no trades in Nifty uh, as of now. If, but in case if you have taken this short, right, CPR high will be the possible uh, stop loss, and can expect it to come and test this BC zone. That is, bullish reversal can be expected on the lower side. But it will take some take some time. But I think so. Eventually, it might come and test this uh, bullish reversal in case of Nifty. Okay. Ok, 
okay so uh, in case if you're seeing a three minute chart right this for three uh, first uh, three minutes candle was taken on you got a buy trigger if you have taken a long on this this is the first level to watch out okay as i said like this the intermediate resistance on this intermediate time frame is r1 so that is safe to book partially and then sit for this r1 about target okay so this is the first trade we saw today morning that is giving some good results okay so let's watch out we didn't get a trigger a uh, little bit later trigger in uh, uh, five minutes but uh, three minutes of this trigger was fired and now it is the first level of target a quick scalp so this is at resistance zone when it is at resistance zone right the very first target you book out okay and then trial for this r1 on the upside So in case if you have taken this trade uh, in bank nifty your stop loss will be at least this mid of this candle okay uh, that's where uh, second from here this is your possible stop loss okay try your stop loss and uh, this will be a above target Is anyone uh, long on bank nifty okay this is our bullish breakout if you uh, let me just turn this on so that uh, you have the lines plotted okay you can see this this is our bullish breakout okay and now we have our r1 resistance around this okay so trial your stops okay and then sit for this next target r1 this taken out we can see some moves or expect some reversals from this so uh, let's see any fresh trades so that's what we got long on uh, bank nifty in the morning now okay so now we are just tri trialing sagar this is the first target to watch out in case of uh, bank nifty okay our target is done in case of bank nifty now we have to try it out in sense uh, now so you can see this is an immediate resistance so it's safe to book out at this level and then trial for t1 okay so the market is highly placed bullish so we can expect a possible move till here but uh, after this move can expect some pullback because r1 is a strong resistance dynamic resistance what we have identified so uh, we can expect some resistance here so safe to book out here uh, and then trial for this okay so in case of a pullback uh, you don't lose what you have entered here okay so bank nifty uh, sorry nifty uh, as i said like now this is the cpr in case of uh, nifty the cpr was not compromised but the cpr mid was kind of uh, compromised here so this was the buy zone so it is now trading in this range uh, no fresh trades in nifty if you are shorted nifty then hold on with this uh, stop loss about day high okay that is the safest stop loss uh, maybe it might again come and test this um, buy zone here okay so it might spend some time and come okay okay Okay, we got some good scalp in the morning in case of bank nifty nifty we didn't have much trade setups let's see nifty is showing some resistance as we can see this this candle mid is our possible uh, reference to watch out okay so that getting resistance right nifty can come so in case if you are looking for a possible shorting opportunity this retest right there is giving some confirmation that it might come to the buy zone so we can look for some opportunity of selling here in case of nifty okay and uh, no fresh longs in bank nifty this target is kind of done now we'll wait okay so let's see 16 people watching 
press the like before you start your trades okay so now in case uh, uh let's see this is giving in resistance this is the mid of this candle that's where we got resistance in case and as i said like if you're holding short stop loss will be on the day high and your target will be this buy zone okay so this will be your uh, sl okay and this was our entry okay this was our entry retest of this or if we have taken this trigger your target would be this okay the first target we'll be watching out will be this zone okay in fact uh, you can see this is the order block that was there okay so in fact uh, this will be a possible uh, uh, target zone let's just say target okay so bank nifty is also showing a reversal pattern out here in case if you want to risk out uh, this rejection confirmed be below the higher one, right stop loss will be on the day high and we can expect it to come in again test this out okay but um, we didn't get any confirmation but the candlestick patterns is showing a possible rejection let's see this but uh, meanwhile just let me update this so uh, nifty this is the possible trade setup we are uh, seeing out okay rejection from here stop loss about that and then uh, possibly this target can be expected okay so this is a weekly uh, r1 over here so safe bet is first target you keep it here and then you can keep at this zone low uh, also like okay so this is the trade opportunity we had now in case of uh, nifty okay so bank nifty also as i said if you have taken a shot on this rejection this will be your sl day high okay and your first target to watch out will be see now you can see this is where the last buying interest came in the market so i can i am expecting it might come and this will be a first target to watch out okay Yeah, I didn't copy. Let me just do this one second. Okay, let me just clean this out. Okay, let's see. See, we didn't get a trigger in case of bank nifty but uh, let's see in a three minute chart uh you can see this is a good reversal pattern engulfing uh bearish reversal kind of a pattern that is getting formed out here which is kind of a bearish sign that market is and it is a resistance zone but we didn't any get any confirmation from the candlestick uh pattern based uh, triggers okay but uh, i'm just expecting possibly it might come and test this cpr zone and maybe this buy zones okay so let's see uh uh, in case of uh, nifty as i said this is the trigger this was a retest that was done to the midpoint of that and now it is showing so if we have shorted on this candle right this is the first level of uh, target to be watched out okay maybe when this buy zone is tested you can partially book out and then sit for this next targets okay so this will buy zone is here so that is where we again it might spend and then once this is broken right you can sit for lower targets Do you trade every day? Yes, uh, Azmat Azmi. Can you explain logic for mid candle? Uh, yes, in sense, what has happened? What happens is um, whenever the 
fifty percent logic is always there. Like in sense, in the market, right? Whenever the stock is or any price is comes to fifty percent, is a discounted price. Like wherein which like both buyers and sellers come in active. Like that is one of the reasons. Like um, uh, at fifty percent, right? We can expect the possible reversals. Like, okay. So let's see. So let's see. We will wait for some uh, rejection candle. Any candle uh, of uh, rejection triggers in this sell zone, right, will be a selling opportunity for these lower targets. Okay, let's wait and see. Light green, you are zoning CPI. So, yeah, uh, now this is the CPR zone, like in sense of intermediate CPR, right? This is my intermediate CPR that has been formed out here, okay? And uh, if you see the BC, right, it is from year to year is the daily CPR range, okay? And this is my inter intermediate CPR range. And in case of uh, Nifty. This is my intermediate CPR. Sorry, uh, yes, this is my intermediate CPR, a little bit darker green. And then if you see, the this is the TC and the BC is here. A very wider uh, CPR in of uh, Nifty, like, okay. Between these two candles, right, you can see an order block was formed, so it will find some support here. This support has to be compromised, okay, for the possible targets, okay. So, uh, in case uh, if this CPR is acting as a strong support, then uh, maybe we will book out partially at least here, okay, around the CPR zone, and then we'll see, like, okay, and then maybe we'll watch. Very happy to see you online. Very, very long distance. <laughs> Hi, Sudesh. Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, I uh, took a break from uh, live. Yeah, but again, I have restarted. So uh, you can catch me live every day again now. Okay, I just put this as target. Is it? No, this is not target. Let's see. Good morning, Srikanth.
गुड मॉर्निंग रुद्रा वेलकम बैक थैंक यू Okay, how many people are in the trades now? Check now, Kuri three nine zero zero C. Okay, let's check. Intraday or uh, positional? Any type uh, thing, right? You just uh, save it as for intraday or positional. Okay. That will help me out in uh, clicking out. So let's check now, Kri. Okay, now Kri, it's still looking weak for me. No fresh buying in now, Kri. I don't know, like, what's your position on this? You can see this trading below the monthly CPR zone, okay, and also weekly CPR, okay. So uh, I just expect it to again pull back on the upside for again a uh, rally out. Let me just one second uh, get this. Friday is it okay? Once again, let me get this right. Okay, intraday it is bullishly aligned. You can see this. We are getting a trigger out here. The next sell zone for this is uh, let me just see. Okay, so this is the monthly uh pivot around this that is what it's giving resistance so it will come and test this r1 resistance around it's already tried once the previous day high is tested once this breakout we can see possibly t1 t2 targets on the upside okay currently it is looking bullish if you have taken a trade on this breakout of this candle uh then uh, stiff cpr low will be a possible stop loss for this target okay on breakout of this right we can see some good moves on the upside okay so the previous selling was from this zone if you see this right this old zone is kind of a previous sell zone okay so that is where it is now finding resistance so that will be the target for you in case if you're long on this okay so let's see what's happening uh bank nifty is coming towards our target zone this is the target zone what we have identified for bank nifty so let's see this is the cpr support so around these zones right we can expect again a support getting formed in case this is getting compromised right you can even trial for lower targets let's see okay nifty is again who tested this uh, cpr mid and then finding some support here so let's see just watching no trade okay we are a little bit late on the market i guess morning we had a, a good uh, first uh, morning scalp in case in bank nifty right if you see three minutes charts uh the first five three minutes candle was broken out okay and we also got a buy trigger so till this r1 that was one quick scalp we had in the morning and now it is giving some resistance uh, around this and it is trying to come to this support okay so let's see that that was one more trade so nifty almost came to this targets and now it is bouncing okay so let's see Okay, almost 28 people just press like.
so the morning initial balance is still holding on so you can see this, this is the first five and 15 minutes uh, high low at the low of the first 15 minutes right again it is found support and then it is in the range like okay so uh let's see Then I'm confused. Uh, intermediate CPRs and the okay, how it work? See, let me just explain here. This is a Nifty chart. So, for example, uh, once again, let me just open this. See, uh, this is the intermediate CPR what you're seeing here from the yesterday's okay so what we have done is like uh, the one each day right we have rated into three sections and then uh, we plot the CPR for each sections and then we trade this session based on this CPR okay that's the basic logic you just go on to the channel uh, you can find a video out there where which like I explained in detail how to use this like okay if you see today's thing right uh, and if I just switch off the normal CPR of today and then plot only the intermediate CPR this is what has happened okay you can see this the morning we got a sell here this was the intermediate CPR okay this rejection from the buy zone, sell zone so it has come and it is expected to come to this buy zone but we had a buying uh, candle out here between these two you can see and between these two also there was a order block that has been placed and you can see yesterday is at this price very huge rally came that's right when it came down here the cpr low was acting as a strong support and then it found a support and pulled back okay so if you are shorted around this retest right safe bet is to book around this cpr uh, lower in case if it, i was expecting it to come to this but uh, you can see it came all the way here and then pulled back okay so at least partially we book out here and then sit for uh, again retest of this like in case if this mid is again taken out right you exit out your trades otherwise it will be in again back in the reach okay so that's the logic behind uh, uh, uh introducing uh this intermediate cps okay and the intermediate cpr also you can see it is very very wide in the morning that means to say it will not rally too much okay it will be trading in a reach okay that's how you interpret this uh, intermediate cps okay i took uh, bank nifty put trade but stop loss hit because of bounce what can be the next trade uh let's wait like in sense uh we'll see it is now even in case of bank nifty you have seen let me just remove this so uh see this is a sell zone okay we didn't get any trigger but based on the retest if this candlestick pattern if you are seeing right this move what it has come see this buy zone was there that's why it bounced back from there you can see this bounce that is because of that buy zone okay so let's see now what happens next we will wait for the triggers again right and then possibly take a trade uh in case of nifty 2 this buy zone this uh, cpr low is kind of uh, acting as a support and that's why it bounced back but but i am expecting again we might find some resistance here and then it might come and test this out so need to watch out in case uh, we, i don't like where you kept your stop loss in case if for this trade reversal if you have taken a stop loss your stop loss should be at least above this sell zone or at the day high okay because that is the technical stop loss in case if you are taking a short here okay uh let's see you can you could have hold on with the stop loss above the uh, the day high or this okay because uh this is where the rejection the sellers pushed it down again to buyers to come back into the play right they have to break this on the upside okay 
uh, it was a risky trade because uh, we didn't wait for a trigger like okay but uh, if you see in a little bit lower time frames on three minutes right we got this beautiful rejection that's the logic of going short over there okay and uh, this is also again a rejection candle over here that is the reason of going short okay so based on that uh, you could have hold on the trade but uh, let's see like fresh trades i'm just expecting again this taking out then we can expect this to come over here okay let's see good morning minam when time permits could you please analyze icici bank and canara bank from futures angle okay let's check uh, icici and uh, uh, this is for intraday is it I assume it is for intraday so let's see uh icc bank okay icc bank you can see on the intraday uh this is at resistance and uh morning we get a buy trigger here immediately at resistance so it's not valid enough so again now rejection from the resistance zone expected to again come and test this buy zone okay so if you can see this is the buy zone for that okay so it might again find uh this support again getting tested if this is getting to taken out right we can possibly expect it to come to this bullish reversal zone okay so uh it's showing some rejection it is in a range okay uh highly bullish structure so it is in a range so if cpr get is getting compromised we can expect it even to come and test this buy zone out down on the lower side okay so that is the thing positional is it okay one second uh let me just check positional my cc back see all banks uh private banks is doing on the bullish side so let's see it is in the verge of a breakout okay let's see this this is the daily chart of uh icic bank you can see this is the last high it is in the verge of a breakout okay you can see this this is the immediate resistance for that and it is in the verge of that breakout okay so any breakout the uh, next immediate resistance for that is uh, uh 962 that's where i'm seeing a uh, immediate next resistance for this the stock is making all time highs so uh, a breakout of this we can definitely expect it to come and to the next immediate resistance of uh, 962 looks good it's looking bullish this is the resistance that has been holding on okay so any close on this above side right we can expect a possible, uh, possible uh, move on the up okay so this is on uh, icic bank the other one is canara bank okay to sell futures of uh, these 23 stocks now two three 23 stocks is okay you want to sell this is it thing is like uh as of now uh we at this highs right we are getting a doji this is a kind of an indecision candle out here the thing is like if there is a breakout above this there is good chance of testing this r1 so i am not seeing any uh a clear rejection at this point of time area we are getting a doji if the low of the doji is getting compromised definitely you can basically short and sit with your stop loss above this okay so i'll be wait for a couple of uh days for that uh confirmation okay same with canara bank the stock is making all time highs the resistance is taken on the upside so there's good chance of it going and testing this t1 target on the upside okay 354 uh, again here just today it is breaking out that sell zone if the high is not compromised and you are getting a bearish reversal and a closing below r1 then basically we can short this and uh, maybe you can place the reversal trade but as of now no shorting in either of them Okay, let's see what's happening in bank nifty oh, okay bank nifty as expected it is coming down let's see this is breaking out as i said like it has to come and test this lower targets oh, its target what i marked is gone okay so the first target what we'll be watching out is this close price zones okay this close price zone candle right this is the first zone uh, we'll be uh, watching out okay 
So this will be our target one. And then if this is taken out, right, maybe we can expect it to come to this buy zone. See, eventually it has to come to this, but uh, that's what it spend some time and come. And uh, Nifty, as I said, like this target is the first what we'll be watching out, okay? So uh, it's given a sell trigger again, but there is a buy zone here, uh, out here. So it will spend some time, not a good risk reward. Unless you have a shorted around this, it's fine. Otherwise, uh, it will be again trading in a range, okay? So watch out for that. Yeah, sure, Minama. Can you please check PL for intraday? Okay, let me just check PL for intraday. Okay, PL looking good. Good breakout from the monthly supports. And now it is making highs. You can see beautiful trigger on the very first candle as the CPR was taken out. Now it is a breakout. Hold on to the stock. Uh, the indicator is staying possible T1, T2, T1, T2 is done. Trial your stop loss below the candles and sit for the next target. Next target is uh, this extended target of 8. Uh, let me just see this. Okay, you can see this. Next target is 814. We are seeing here, right? That is the next possible target to watch out. Okay, so we got uh, buy in the very first candle and then now it is rallying all the way like. Hold on to your long positions. See, beautiful rally. It is trading in a narrow range for last couple of days and today the breakout has happened and is now rallying out. Okay. Okay, let's see what's happening with uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty. Very much in a range of uh, Bank Nifty. The morning initial balance is still holding on, just went for it. Is. So let's see. So this is the previous day high that is giving some support as of now. Like, Okay, bank empty is coming to our first target. That is this close price zone. Okay, see, uh, this closing price candle, right? It is act as a possible support. So, when it comes here, right, we can expect some pullback. Okay, so uh, the buy zone, this is the last buy zone that is getting compromised. The sellers are coming in action. Okay. That is what you are seeing that move. Okay. So I am booking partially out here and then riling out. Okay. Okay. Now, this is, as I said, this is our intermediate CPR then you can expect it to come and test this okay as i said this this old candle is a support zone okay if you mark this right this old candle is a possible support zone so that is the reason you have to book out at least partially over there and sit okay safe to book out partially here Sir, I need to know about uh, Sona BMW. Okay, let's check Sona BMW. 
PLW, is it? See, so this is the one. This is Sona PLW on a weekly chart. Let me just check. The stock is uh, giving some buy trigger at the buy zone. Yeah, you can buy the stock. The stock is almost at uh, good support. You can see this is the supply zone for that. It is available at discount. Uh, we also got a buy trigger out here. The monthly CPR is not taken on the upside. Maybe if you're taking it, this zone low will be a possible stop loss. I'd rather wait for a closing above at least uh, 450 and then possibly take a trade in this. Okay, you can see this. This is a resistance that resistance take uh, tested and again it is coming down. Okay, so I'll just wait for a green candle close above this uh, 450. That will give me confidence to again sit in this uh, stock for a target of uh, 490 on the upside like okay so after this correction right in case if it again reverses above the cpr we can expect it to again come and test this 490 levels okay so watch out for that good morning radish hashtag bank nifty good congrats uh sagar yeah do type hashtag bank nifty hashtag nifty if you have made profit in this trade okay we got a beautiful trigger in this hope you guys understand the logic behind uh, that trade what we did in bank nifty two trades one on the long and one on the short side two type hashtag nifty hashtag bank nifty in case if you made profit in the trades. okay so we'll see like again uh how do we do so block 69 mega this i'm spamming your chat again let me block Mighty Master, you remember your older subscriber. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I remember you very much. I remember your username uh, quite unique out like. So I do remember you. Okay, let's see whether it will come to our buy zone. Hashtag bank fifty profits on P. Next trade will be possible holding a few lots okay let's see if this support is compromised right we can expect it to come and test this bullish reversal okay so hold on let's see in case if you are trailing right now uh, the stop loss in case the bulls have to again come back in play uh let's see this high has to be taken on the upside okay so that will be your trailing sl let me just put it something like this in case if since we are in the short right uh, that will be our trailing is a little bit shorter so we can keep on the high of this now actually what has happens is uh, see this candle uh, is where the sellers came because you can see a seller block came so in case if it bounces back again right there's good chance of going and testing all the way here okay so if you keep your stop loss here there's good chance of hitting it out like okay so but yeah in case a big reversal comes on the previous day high above a closing comes then maybe it's safe to book partially and sit okay what level next trade will be possible next trade will uh, in case of bank nifty if this zone is compromising and giving some trigger we can sit for this uh, lower buy zone okay or else if it uh, gives a buy trigger here right uh, maybe it might again come and test this out okay so uh, that is the thing like okay See now the time is almost 10 15 right they will try to keep it in a range and uh, today cpr is also in quite a big range so it will be in a range bound like okay so what i have done is like i have sold uh, bank nifty options in the morning when this reversal has come and then uh, i booked partially out here and then holding some like okay so that's a uh, 
trade I am doing today like okay can you explain orange and blue boxes okay if these are intermediate support and resistance uh, zones that is been identified orange boxes uh, to be put simple is uh, they are your sellers block where the sellers are sitting okay this old zone is a sell zone okay and this old zone is a buy zone okay so um, whenever the market is at this zone we expect a possible reversal in the market and whenever it is at this blue zone we expect a possible buying interest in the market okay just watch out the video Kiran uh, in the playlist uh, of my YouTube channel you will get more explanations of each of those in detail May being Friday, is it okay to sit with few lots in losses as the time decay is low? Yes, you can. Like, in sense, you can hold as of now, as I said, like, uh, there's a good rejection from here. So, uh, maybe uh, once this is taken out, we can see some good moves out there. Like, okay, maybe around, I think it's like, since it is a very wide CPR, right, it will be uh, moving out. But uh, being a Friday, the decay will be a little bit slower, right? You can take the chance, I guess. Okay. Otherwise, trail with the... Uh, fixed uh, SL kind of a thing in your mind like in sense if this is range is taken out maybe I exit out but as of now right unless this previous day high is not getting compromised right uh, we can hold on like okay because this can chances of again coming down Generally, why I prefer uh, to book out most of the things uh, whenever the market is wide is because when you have such a big, uh, in sense, a wider CPR, right? They will try to keep it in a very, very range bound. Like so, rather than sitting right, you book out, and again in the second session we will find some trades. Like that is one of the reasons. Like in case uh, if the market is very wide, right, you book out max and then sit. Like okay, those are the boxes which are forming in the candle order flow order blue and green. Oh, okay okay see this is the the order block uh, what concept uh, very much like this blue order blocks uh, let me just show it in a naked chart okay so I'll just remove this uh, trending candles out Okay, now you can see, right? See, uh, this order block that is formed here, here, right? In sense, now this is the orange block that is being formed. Okay, that is because from this, because between these two candles, right, there is a huge sell order placed at this price. Okay, that's the reason this order block, when the price comes to that range, right, it is getting rejected. And if you mark the center of that candle, right, in sense, since it's a big candle, right, morning when this mid was tested, uh, we can see again the sellers coming back in. This is w one of the reasons why I said we can possibly take a shot with the stop loss above that leg. Okay, the stop loss above that because that is the order block. So again, when the you can see between these two candles, a blue order block is formed. That is because it was orange all this while, uh, but now it has changed to blue because once this candle is formed, right, we got a confirmation the buyers are sitting here, okay. So next time when the market is coming at this price, right, you can see the buyers are again pushing it up, okay. So we know now, in sense, for Nifty to go down again, right, this buy order block has to be taken on the lower side, okay. That is the uh, thing. So what happens is if we don't have these order blocks put out, right, we don't know like when it will, say, say for example, now uh, if I re remove this, right, so I don't have the order blocks now. Okay. I don't know like where it will find the reverses. After this candle is formed, right? 
I uh, I don't know like if it comes down whether it will go down all the way here or where I don't know like but once we have this order blocks in place right uh, we know like where possible we can expect a reversal okay so that is uh, kind of a footprint uh, that uh, been left by the institutional place so we can follow those fo footprints and then plan our trades can you use Ikenashi in this indicator? No, Ikenashi you can use, but I, I, it's not giving that good results. Uh, so Ikenashi, I will not suggest for this. The thing is like, uh, since we have these uh, zones uh, plotted out, right? We can even use uh, uh, what you call as the um, <laughs> line candles. Only thing is we should take the trades around these zones like that is the important thing like so now uh, if you see a stays range out right you can see this is a sell zone this sell zone is taken on the upside uh, you can see again it went and next sell zone okay again it came down this is a buy zone along with the CPR we consider as a buy zone this CPR getting tested taken out sell zone taken out it is again went to the next sell zone okay so only thing is like we need to have some conviction to take a trade here so Key thing is more than the candlesticks right we are looking in the zones like okay so now this sell zone is compromised right it is now holding on cpr getting compromised it has to come to this buy zone and if the buy zone is again pulled back on the upside it will again go to the sell zone okay so uh more than the candlesticks right uh you look out but uh yeah i can actually uh, thing is like uh that doesn't fit well with this like for your entries and exits okay Okay, bank nifty on a three minutes it's giving a portable cell that is what it's being reflected over there uh, as i said like we are having short opportunity from morning as i said like if you're holding that uh this our target is still yet to become over there like okay it is just trading in that range but eventually it will come over there like we have to wait orange color box is sell order and blue col color box is buy orders right yes Kiran, you are right so let me just clean this thing uh, now let's see like if we get fresh orders again in bank nifty nifty also let me just uh, put on sunil uh, request view on pft for positional perspective okay positional perspective for swing pfc or finance so this is a let me just positional i just usually positional right i'll check it on a weekly chart okay that is uh, okay you can see this we got a buy order uh, around this price in case of uh, let me just clean this previous analysis okay so we got a buy trigger here on the breakout of this monthly cpr and now it is at the targets you can see this is the sell zone for that okay previously this was a sell zone and now you can at least book your uh, partial profits and then wait for that breakout for the next targets okay you can see this beautiful rally here uh, this is where we got entry i don't know like where you made your entries but uh, it's safe to book out partially or earlier because already it has given this extended targets 
and uh, this month right this is the one of the beauty of the indicator like okay if you're seeing this on the uh, dashboard right let me just make it a little bit bigger okay on the month start itself right for this particular stock it was saying a possible breakout can be expected okay and that breakout was given out and now it is at the target zones you can see this previously this was a selling zone and there was one selling zone here like so those two targets were there and it is given that second target if this breakout happens then we can expect this next target out here okay so as of now at least book partially and then trial for this welcome sunil Let's just a second, okay. Just give it two minutes. okay uh nifty is again finding uh as i as i said right bank nifty is found the cpr support and now uh this is the resistance what you are seeing here maybe around those zones again we can expect some pullback on the lower side again okay so it is in a range bound uh same with nifty too this is the cpr range okay let me just clean this out anyway uh you guys know like where we have trades and what are that so this is the cpr range the intermediate cpr range is trading between this if the market has to show some moves this cpr has to be taken on the lower side for this support okay or else uh, on the upside so it is in a range bound okay so that is the thing let me check iex is it iex uh, srinivas iex for uh, positional is it okay iex also it is come to the buy zone and you can see also buy was found here okay uh, trigger was fine okay it is at a good discounted price you can buy keeping a stop loss below this maybe in coming days uh, if the monthly cpr is taken on the upside uh, we can definitely see the first targets between 185 and then higher okay looks good beautiful correction uh come it has come to a discounted price now uh and in case if you want to be a little bit more safer wait for this monthly cpr to be taken on the upside and buy otherwise if you are buying keep a stop loss below this uh, supply, uh demand zone low okay
Let me get some water. Okay, back again. You're long on bank nifty okay uh based on this support if you have taken a long on bank nifty this is the zone for you to book and sit and maybe you can watch out this is the zone we can expect again some reversal in case of bank nifty okay maybe this taken out right we can sit for again this high okay Okay, we got a buy trigger here too, is it? Okay, in uh, Nifty again, the same range. So Nifty, that's what like, uh, I don't see any big, uh, this one. If you want to try it, you can, but uh, let's see now Nifty, this is the support. This taken out, right? Maybe it might test the TC. In bank, but the stop loss will be below this. See very small moments, so I'll not. I'm not taking a trade, but uh, expectation is once this is taken out, maybe TC, and then again the uh, resistance zone can be tested out. Okay, so let's see. 
see okay cpr mid is taken so it looks good this bank nifty, nifty trade this is the immediate first resistance see if the cpr is taken out that's where we get more confidence to trade on this okay otherwise a very narrow candle so it will be just uh, going around Welcome Srinivasanu. Nifty, let's see. See, Nifty is looking good at this point of time seeing this candle, but uh, if the TC is taken out right, then we can see some good moves. Otherwise, it will be in a very, very tight range. What should be the lot size for intraday in both? See, the lot size depends upon your risk uh, uh, ability, how much you can risk out. The more lots, more profits, more uh, losses. Like So, initially, until you get consistently uh, uh, making profits right try with one lot at the max two lots and then once you start consistently making then you can slowly increase your uh, capital size please comment on zeal for intraday let me just check zeal so this is a target someone was asking pl that time right we said this weekly resistance that is what it is given out okay maybe this is taken out again we can see some moves so kind of this target extended targets and above is done in this case okay so uh, let's check zeal for intraday okay zeal eat at uh, weekly pure uh, resistance okay we can see this was the r1 resistance in case of zeal today the third candle itself went and tested that resistance so if you are holding long right uh, wait for this breakout if this happens then we can see some good moves okay so now currently what is happening is this uh, virgin cpr kind of a thing right that is what it's also giving resistance so this has to be taken out then we can see some good moves otherwise it will be trading so if you are holding long hold on to there wait for this breakout for this target of t1 and t2 okay so this is a strong resistance from here that is what it's showing some selling pressure from there okay so you can hold on if you are on the long i don't know like what position you're holding there puja no video sir it's coming huh? Too many comments from Nightbot, what to do? Okay, uh, let me just uh, see once again. I'll try to fix that up. Blank screen. No, it's showing fine, uh, Puja.
long time back i configured that uh, <laughs> clearing bot so i need to figure out the login for that to disable that so as uh, so someone is long as i said this is a key resistance for uh, to watch out in case of uh, Okay, uh, night bot. Okay, I think so now uh, the bot should reduce. Okay, uh, Lakshmi, I bought P in dip. What would be my stop loss? Bank Nifty P is it? I don't know, like uh, if you bought uh, which uh, Nifty or Bank Nifty you're speaking out. If you bought Bank Nifty, uh, as I said, like Bank Nifty, this was a support. So uh, the this may be the, the zone high is your technical stop loss r1 above or at least uh, if the pdh is taken on the upside as i said like there's good chance of going up that should be a possible stop loss now at this point of time this zone high will be a stop loss okay a breakout of this zone right there's good chance of again testing this and this okay so uh, that will be your technical stop loss at least this r1 you should keep or uh, the bullish breakout this zone right that will be a stop loss Okay, the bots should reduce now. Hints to know the, that your ID is famous, you will find com comments from astrologers, ads, let's add some kid comments. <laughs> Okay, let's see 48 people watching. Let's take a minute and then press the like buttons. The thing is like once you press the like buttons, YouTube know that I am there like, okay. And uh, it'll try to promote it out like, okay. So otherwise what happens if you don't press likes, the others will not know like we are doing this. So take your time, just press like. And meanwhile, I'll just be back in two minutes, okay.
Okay, friends, back again. Thanks for your guidance. Good book, good profit in PFC. Welcome, Sunish. So let's check PFC. What we analyzed in the morning and then where it went. Okay. So this is what we analyzed, right? It has will come to that uh, cell zone. Hi Sandy, <laughs> how are you? Two short reels about indicator to reach maximum. Yeah, surely them. Uh, ID will do that. Like there's some more small things, tweaks that I am just working on the indicator, which will much make much more uh, reliable or much more accurate things. Then I do some promotions for that. Like yeah, doing good, Sandy. So let's see if you are on the buy as I said like uh, in case of nifty right this CPR is uh, mid is taken on the upside with a bullish trigger so uh, likely to go and test the TC okay so this is the last uh, sell zone what we had right so that is likely getting taken on the upside so uh, this is the first level to watch out and maybe this okay so let's see Let's see, let me just. Nifty is looking good for me as of now. We can see this. This was the buy trigger we got. This is the bias entry again. So it might again come and test this TC expected. And maybe this is taken out, right? Maybe we can again expect the previous day high. Okay. That's the looks it looks like okay okay Oh, your views on Gujarat gas target for this month. One second. Okay, as I said, like this looks good for me in case of Nifty, this buy trigger coming above the CPR. Okay, and this was the red uh, retest that is done. Retest was taken on the upside. So in this case, right, the BTC will be the first uh, level to watch out if that's taken out. PDH is the next level. So Bank Nifty 2, we can see uh, support tested out and then previous day high taken out. Then the bulls were strong enough again. And now it is just holding on. And in our three minutes time frame in case of Nifty, uh, bank nifty this cell zone is still uh, trying to protect it out so in case if for shorts right uh, let's see like three minutes again it's giving this taken out right again we can expect it to go and test that out okay so let's wait for this uh, not a very confirmed uh, buy in case of uh, bank nifty because uh, still it is in this trading range 
so in this trading range going long unless this high is taken out is riskier okay so i'll rather avoid but in case of nifty maybe this uh will be a chance okay because we have a very small small stop loss in this okay shaker view on gujarat gas uh, for this month one second ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ for this month it is trading in this tight range i don't see much movements for this month uh, maybe the coming month we can see some good volatility in case of uh, gujarat gas this is a weekly chart okay let me just check uh, daily chart on this uh, it is trading see this is the last buy zone and sell zone for this okay you can see this this is the last buy zone and this is the last sell zone it is trading in a narrow range out there no fresh buying in this maybe if it pulls back above this tc that is the monthly cpr taken out that's where we can see some good moves otherwise it will be in a range not a very good structure as of now okay <clears throat> kundeep on longer time frame i'm not able to see the demand and supply zones daily and weekly now you should be able to see see uh, for example now if i'm seeing a weekly chart uh let me just show you the weekly chart this is my weekly chart you can see this uh it shows that support and resistances okay it should show for you you know that's my wife uh, radesh <laughs> she was oh yeah the sellers are again trying to be back in case of nifty bank you can see this zone and uh, nifty 2 is still holding on there like unless the cpi is not taken out uh, again it will be in a range how to use this indicator for stock options see on the option chart you can put this indicator uh, because uh, that works totally different so you can't use this on the option charts explain order blocks uh, anupama just watch the video that is there in the description of this uh, okay i i will also post the link of that i just explain each and everything of those concepts over there okay i'll just post that in the chat too and also uh, the link of that is there in the description of this video okay you can watch that uh, which will give you a very 
detailed explanation of each of those okay okay just watch this video i explained uh, the concepts of those okay tata chemicals your view please tata chemicals for intraday is it one second tata chemicals uh, intraday tata chemicals morning we had this uh, breakout let me just clean this previous levels okay you can see this is a sell zone for tata chemicals morning the buying came and from there the sellers have again pushed it back like okay so i'm just expecting uh it might be in this range okay the structure is bullishly aligned so it might again come and test the buy zone low so again the cpr is likely to get tested in this okay if you are holding longs any close below this r1 there's good chance of coming in the cpr okay okay uh what is that um, okay to look at indicators on stock features to take decisions on stock options to trades yes you can look into that in sense uh, i personally uh, do that uh, just as your uh, spot chart is more than enough for your analysis like uh, whether for features and then definitely using the features chart you can definitely take decisions on the options okay There will be only a slight variations in your futures chart uh, and the spot chart okay so yeah i generally use, uh, prefer the spot uh, for all the analysis like hi dakshat how are you so 42 likes let's take out that 50 likes resistance we do have not uh, liked do like and share the channel okay bank nifty rejection from this zone okay so let's see now okay as uh, expected so now this is a buy zone it's a strong buy zone so again at this zone so as i said like you can see this between these two candles uh, the buyers previously entered so they will try to defend here for some more time okay uh in case of nifty uh it tried on the upside around this resistance again back in this right unless the cpr is not taken out it will be trading like this okay i'm doing good dakshat Hmm. 
ನೋಡಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ Okay, let's see. What percentage of profits do you suggest to book in on stock options? See, uh, once again, let me try to block this. Uh, percentage of profits in sense like uh, see uh, generally the, the way i do out is in case of options is uh, whenever whenever uh, based on the levels what we plot out right at those levels whatever you see you at least try to book out there like okay uh, our in sense if it is giving at least uh, based on your risk whatever you have calculated out based on that if it is giving at least one is to one at least book partially and then sit like okay that is the ideal thing that i generally follow out like okay when it at the key levels right whatever the options at the price that is been trading at that point of time at least book partially out then then you can trial it out okay okay so bank nifty is again testing out now tc is getting compromised uh sitting is like from this sell zone if it is getting compromised right there's a good chance of coming out testing our bc zones okay so we can trial uh in sense in sense morning if you're holding or any op options selling if you have done that you can definitely trial till this bc or buy zone is getting tested out okay till then you can sit in case if you are option buyer and then put it out like at least book partially on these of this because when it comes to these uh, major zones like we can again expect it to be in a range and then pull out but i am expecting it to eventually come and test this 43000 levels again today and then maybe uh, we can expect it to, to be in this range okay that is what i am just expecting out uh, because from the sell zone morning it is getting com uh, compromised there is uh, likely testing this 43000 level okay can you uh, please look into Kendra Bank? I've gone short on stock option. Okay, let me just check uh, Kendra Bank. Okay, Kendra Bank, uh, if you have gone short on these triggers, the next uh, immediate uh, i think so it will uh, test this r1 okay 
and uh, if this R1 is the on previous day holds uh, gets compromised there's good chance of coming and testing this uh, CPR zone okay maybe uh, you can start to trial from here okay somewhere over here so you, your immediate first target will be this R1 resistance and then you can trial maybe for this okay previous day high and this okay so um, yeah R1 I think so it will come and test so uh, your, you can trial your stops above this any candle closing again back above this there's good chance of again uh, be in this range okay so uh, if you are shorted around any of these triggers these are the possible uh, zones of uh, reversal here okay <clears throat> what happens is this this is whole thing is a sell zone so the buyers are sitting at the low of this leg okay so if this bias again push it back right it will be trying to be in this range so uh, it this compromise then we can expect it to come to that okay closing price of that thing so uh, new registrations who have done today uh, i just uh, activated it the indicators okay so uh, yeah generally during the market as i don't do in case if i'm free i'll just do it during the market as otherwise uh, all the activations will be done uh, post market okay so in case if you want to try out the indicator the link is there in the description of the video okay it is uh, you can uh, subscribe for the indicator at tradersedge.in okay bank nifty is again moving in our favor so let's see uh nifty weekly victory was very much in a range okay uh, it has given a sell trigger uh cpr mid is getting compromised but i'm not very confident on nifty because there's quite a lot of buying this morning this was the buying first came that buying is still holding good so it might be again holding on in this range okay so i'm not expecting a very good movement as of now in case of uh, uh nifty So this last previous day's candle is now again acting as a support. Okay. So this has to get compromised for Bank Nifty to go down. So that will be a support zone to watch out. When you buy bank nifty near 43,000 levels let's see like once it comes to that zones right uh we'll see how the price action it has to come and test this 23,964 levels around okay so immediately this cpr is where there was previously some buying interest came and then it was pulled on the upside right so once this pp is getting compromised right this buy zone is likely to come and test it out okay so we'll wait for that and then around those zones again if we sign or uh, find some buying pressure coming in maybe then we can look for long okay till then no long in case of bank nifty okay good morning pavan
if you are a pattern based trader right bank nifty it is kind of like an m pattern the base of that is getting compromised we can see this coming to that lower targets when i'm holding uh 18400 p what do i do 18400 p you're holding you can hold on okay let's see uh your uh, technical stop loss will be above this tc okay intermediate cpr right uh see uh above that will be your uh technical stop loss okay Nifty, right? This is the support. Okay, let's see. Bank Nifty coming. Kuri kuri.
okay you can see this this is the uh, cpr mid so that will find uh, some time over there and then breakdown of that we can expect it to come to the bc okay so how many are a few people are in this trade so you can see this around 310 yesterday right there was a pause and then this was push was made okay so that is the reason that now it is testing that if that is compromised then we can see some moves okay canada bank is also coming down so uh, as i said like uh, around these zones see r1 is getting compromised previous days also is getting compromised look partially and sit for this okay previous day high if it gets compromised we can expect it to come and test this watch out how the price action around this let's try the stop loss about this nifty uh it was not a very confirmation confirmed trade but uh, someone has taken now uh, this zone if it is compromised we can sit for this buy zone okay okay bank nifty short i'm just i'm not trading just watching okay lakshmi Kiran book 3k profit in bank nifty congrats Kiran two lots good okay you can see this this uh if i mark this zone now right this buy zone okay so now uh this was the last previously before this halt right it went up so there is some buyer sitting here they are trying to defend it so uh, it will go for a small retest if it has to move up and then again try to come down okay so that's what we are predicting let's see
Pitil Mahesh, good morning. Does the indicator consider volumes to generate the buy and sell triggers? Yes, I also consider volume for uh, uh, buy and triggers. That's the reason that uh, the indicator sometimes doesn't work on uh, charts which doesn't have volume. Okay, because uh, I also consider volume with it. So that's why uh, in case if you're uh, seeing this on some spot charts like uh, auto and other things, right, which doesn't uh, has volume plotted with it. So it doesn't come like, okay. Yeah, I do consider volume with it. If you see here, right, uh, let me just show you like, if I just plot the volume. Okay. Now we got a trigger of a short year, right? And if you see the volume between these candles, right? Between these two candles, there is a change in volume, right? So that is what uh, the indicator also considers. Along with it, right? I also consider basically the price action moving over there. Like, so uh, it does consider what take into volume into consideration when you're doing that. Exited Canada Bank with profits. Glad to resume stock options trading after a long pause. Thanks a lot for your guidance. Welcome, Mina Ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Previous day high is compromised. Now, uh, yeah, it is likely to come and test this. Yeah. Good to book out partially over there and maybe could have trial. Okay. So the next uh, CPR is also getting formed on this. You can see this the buy zone has been shifted from year to year. Okay. So uh, again, uh, it will be trading in a range before trying to come down. Okay, so it will go take that resistance again, pull out. Okay, let's see what's happening in Bank Nifty. Okay, you can see again a little bit wider CPR. In the intermediate CPR, this band, what you're seeing it, right? That is the intermediate band. Like, let me just switch off the this CPR. So we can only see the intermediate CPR band. Okay. So we can see this. This is the intermediate CPR zone. Thing is, like, uh, since this buy zones and sell zones is so or uh, closely connected today, right? That's why the market is such in a small range, okay? Because this orange block, what you see is a strong selling zone and this buy block below is a strong buy zone. So the market will be likely to be in this range, okay? Very tight to break out like, okay? But it is coming from the sell zone. It has to come and test this buy zone, okay? That's the logic behind it. So the second uh, uh, intermediate CPR, right? The mid-session CPR is also kind of wide. So again, expect to market to be slowly moving in this range, okay? Welcome, Mahesh. Let me just clean this out. Hi Dinesh, how are you?
or nifty is still struggling in this range no fresh trades over there Yesterday, 18,450, 500 lot. Good. Congrats, Dinesh. 450 you got, is it? 18,450. Okay. Thirty-two point. Okay. Cool. Point six five to thirty two. Great. We are still holding Kendra Bank. What is the best? What is the upside target for? Ria, yeah, you are holding Kendra Bank. Uh, in sense, uh, positionally, you are asking. Or intraday you are asking about this stock. So intraday So intraday that's what it's as I said like it's weak and now it has to come to this buy zone before uh, showing some of this. Anyone holding a Nifty P? For well, long terms taken at 250. You can hold on. Long term you are holding, then it is well and good. You can see this if you see the weekly chart of Canada Bank, right? It is. Uh, now the last selling was coming around this price right you got it at 250 is it okay so now if you see the weekly chart of this this is the previous uh let me just mark this this zone is a good sell zone okay so you can keep your stop loss below this 306 and hold on a breakout of this right again we can see some good moves on the upside okay so uh, in book at least partially over here and then sit because previously around this zone the selling started and then it came down right so if this breakout happens right above 352 then we can see again some fresh buying interest in case of uh, Kendra Bank so you can trial your profits and sit in this So you're not active these days on YouTube. Yes, I was not active for quite some time. Now I again back. Bank Nifty trade, uh, missed the Bank Nifty trade. Okay, let's see. Uh, again, a breakdown below the CPR and if you're getting again trigger, maybe we'll you can re-enter for this uh, lower support. Let's see.
I'm buying two lots of bank nifty p now for levels of 42900 I'll rather wait for uh, the breakout of this okay see the previously that is the candle where the buyers pushed up so fresh entries I'd rather wait for the zone to be compromised at least a selling trigger over there uh, is a safe bet to go short okay so uh, no fresh in case if you're holding it you can otherwise uh, fresh entries in bank nifty short I'd rather wait for this zone to be compromised uh at, otherwise uh, at least a sell trigger has to be given out here like okay dinesh kumar that's not possible practically what is that okay so now we have a very wide cpr in case of nifty bank okay so expectation is uh, that should provide a resistance okay something like this can happen okay so let's see In case of nifty right very very small range now in case of nifty if you see when this candle fall as am this is the candle where the sellers entered okay so even this buy trigger if you are uh, considering it out right this is sell has to be taken out for this target on the upside okay otherwise what will happen it will trade to trade in this range and then uh, breakout so we'll watch out that range you on fin nifty let's check fin nifty fin nifty features It is at a buy zone. Uh, I can see the buy zone is already tested in a fin nifty and uh, kind of in a range now. Like okay, uh, not clear signs from this. Let me just check CMX Finance. Okay, similar. It is already at the buy. I don't think so much lower can be expected. Okay, you can see a possible pullback can be expected, but a very very wide uh, intermediate CPR. So it will be trading in a range. Okay, the second half of the session, or uh, in case of Nifty, right? I am not expecting a very good volatility. It will be trading in a range bound kind of a move. Like okay, so maybe it might again come and test this. Uh, uh, mid of it that is a cpr mid and then be in this range okay and maybe we will take some direction still it is bullishly aligned uh, you can see it came to the buy zone and again it is pulling back okay same thing will be there and there like okay so bank nifty also don't go short uh, you can see this buy zone is still holding good so maybe it might again be in the small range again for the second half of the session okay so let's see Bank Nifty RSI dies and so maybe pull back also CPR act as a resistance. Yes, true, Raj. Okay, Nifty is again trying to test that. CPR zone.
long on bank nifty no no long on bank nifty as of now see the very very wide cpr right okay even if you get a buy trigger right you don't expect a very good movement on the upside like okay now let's wait for some real confirmation of a trigger to go long as of now it is kind of in a range like not seeing any movement so no fresh trades bank nifty uh, nifty as such uh, at the low of the cpr we have got a buy trigger but this is the immediate resistance if you are taking it out trial tight like okay this is possible uh, pullback in this in this uh, intermediate cpr in uh, is taken on the upside then we can expect nifty to again test this high otherwise again this will be in this range okay so let's watch out Brother, एक doubt अगर आपके buy zone के पास अगर CPR आ जाता है तो दिक्कत आती है क्या? Please suggest. Yes, uh, it happens. Like in sense, we consider CPR as either support or resistance. Okay, so if it comes to the near the buy zone, right, then uh, we can consider that as a possible support. Okay, because it will add on to that. Uh, uh, support zone bank nifty 45,000 C you review please 45,000 C is it saying is like uh, if you see bank nifty on a daily chart right it's still very much bullish but don't go for such a big uh... okay one second this is the daily chart of bank nifty okay so in case of bank nifty right this is the resistance zone you can see this this is the resistance zone for bank nifty 43270 today that was tested and showing some rejection out from there like okay so no long as of now until a closing above this comes in case of banks okay so unless this is not taking on the upside right uh i'd rather avoid uh getting fresh longs in this like okay so wait for a close green candle close above this uh, resistance uh, monthly resistance and then you can uh maybe possibly take a higher ca ravi tries hindi my hindi you know like how good i am like <laughs> Can you please suggest your mic volume is low please confirm with others quite near to my mic is that fine now Hope it's more clear now. Your uh, view on Bajaj Finance intraday. Let's check Bajaj Finance intraday. See, uh, so this was the buy zone for the Bajaj Finance. You can see this. This was the buy zone that was there, and this was the previous last closing candle around there. Okay. 
so that buy zone is got respected today and then it has pulled back from there okay so uh, now the stock is from the buy zone it went up morning this was a selling pressure candle out there so this is the resistance for this okay you can see between these two candles there was a selling pressure so we mark that candle as a possible resistance okay so what next uh, it might again go and test this uh, previous day's low zone from here it might find some resistance or if this is taken on the upside right then it might again go and test this cpr zone on the up okay that is the thing as of now it is trying holding there any resistance from here again ascending is shown maybe we can look out so fresh trades will be initiated if the day high is taken or day low is taken on the upside but there is immediate resistance so it will be in a range i guess like okay maybe i'll be looking for a possible sell for, uh, any rejection from here for a possible sell that is what i'll be more interested in this this was one good trade and uh, now in rejection i'll be looking out okay thank you we'll check at my end sure okay bank nifty you can see bank nifty is coming for a possible sell in case someone is want to uh wait for the closing candle or candle closing and then stop loss will be the above the zone and then uh the lower buy zone will be the possible target for that okay if you are already holding from morning the bank nifty shots you can still hold on keep a stop loss above the zone high okay so nifty as expected now this was the sell zone what we identified from there it is again finding resistance but um, to go short, this rejection pattern, if you are taking a trade, then zone high will be a possible stop loss. And this zone breakout, right, you can expect it to come and test the lower buy zone. Okay. Okay, on the three minute time frame you can see that uh, it has given a possible sell trigger in case of bank nifty as i said like um, this uh, pattern you can identify this pattern right it's kind of a rejection bearish pattern so uh, stop loss will be above our closing price of this candle high okay and then uh, possible target will be this buy zone low okay if you see this buy zone right this is the around this bc right that will be the first target we'll be watching out okay and then you can sit for s1 target okay that will be the 
possible uh, expected target for this trade. Okay, Nifty also has given a sell trigger here, but previously morning, this is where the buyers were sitting. So in case if you're taking, as I said, like this above will be a stop loss. This range will be a possible low of this broken out. Maybe we can expect this uh, buy zone uh, BC target here. So you can see this, this today's intermediate CPS buy zone is this like, that's why it is uh, finding some support there that taken out right then the we can sit for the lower targets you can trial that from there buy zone tested the buyers are again back and then they're trying to push So that will be our first target and then we can sit for this next target zones. So the buyers are again pushing it up. It is a quick scalp trick. So you want uh, works on crypto? Yes, Dinesh, it works on crypto. You see some good profits try to book okay this is the buy zone okay uh, previously you can see from this zone is where the buyers push it out okay so at least book partially around these zones and then you can try it okay during the close right from this is the place uh if you see on the expiry around 250 candles where the bulls push the market up so again at the zones right they will again try to defend it out okay so trial your profits are book partially and then set okay so this first target i'll remove so the next target is almost done like okay
do uh, type hashtag bank nifty if you made profits or hashtag nifty if you've taken from trades in nifty okay so that i know like how many people have taken the trade and made some money in this trade okay the next target is also given out So I'm exiting my positions in case of bank nifty. Okay. So if you want to trial, you can trial for next positions. So nifty, as I said, like if you have taken this trade with the stop loss above this zone, watch out for this zone to be taken out. If your first target will be this buy zone uh, start like, okay. So around this will be your first uh, targets. And then you can sit for lower targets. Okay, hashtag Radeshko Annapurna Meena. Good. Congrats for making profits in Bank Nifty. So let's see like again if we find some good uh, trigger points out here for fresh trades. Um, so thing is like now uh, the logic behind me exiting this trade is this like yesterday around this range is where the buyers push the market so high. So they will try to defend this like that's the logic and also we have a strong buy zone here. So a uh, possible reversal can be expected. Okay. okay. We'll be back in two minutes. Okay, we have 45 likes. In case someone who newly joined, you can, uh, if you find this analysis helpful, do take time, press the like and share the channel. You can see a good rejection kind of a thing happening in case of bank nifty. Let's see if we'll get any triggers out there for a possible reversal. Or in case if this is breaking down, we can even expect S1 and this, right? Let's see how it responds from here. Okay, back to Badaj Finance, you can see it went tested this resistance. Now CPI is getting compromised. If this buy zone is getting compromised, right? Uh, uh, there's more confirmation. It will again come and test the day low. Okay, this getting compromised, right? Chance of testing the day low. 
Okay, let's check Reliance how it is doing. Okay, Reliance is quite strong. A breakout weekly pivot is acting as resistance. Okay. Is just holding on that looking quite bullish as of now like let's see you know the spams even if i block right it's still coming uh, in the chats like there's no option to block there's the option to report like you know like how do you block this This hide user on the channel is there. So in case if you are uh, still holding bank nifty uh if you're trialing out right uh see this is the last new low that has been formed okay so we keep this as a possible sl in case if you're trialing out let me just remove this Okay, it is breaking the low. S1 uh, is what we said the next possible target. Let's see. And Nifty, this zone is taken out, right? We can sit for that lower target. Okay, there is some selling coming in. Uh, Nifty, Bank Nifty. So S1 is also tested out now. Okay, now try your stop loss above this candle.
instance if s1 uh closing below s1 right we can see uh again the move let's see whether s1 gets compromised uh, if not uh, then you can trial your sl above this pc Is anyone still holding Bank Nifty? So, addition candle at the uh, key supports, right? We can expect uh, either continuation or reversal. Okay, so. Uh, Let's see. Okay, okay, hold on. We suggest re-entry. No, I will not suggest any re-entry into PE uh, as of now because it's at the buy zone. Uh, it's kind of riskier, and S1 is still holding on. Previously, at this zone, some good buying pressure has come. So maybe it might come and test this. Uh, in sense, if this is broken out, right? Uh, maybe it might again come and test this support on the lower side and then pull back. So uh, no fresh PE. Okay. Uh, in case if we get a buying trigger maybe we'll look for a possible quick scalp on the upside but no uh, if you have positions you can try it but no fresh uh, uh, p options in this maybe breakdown of s1 maybe we can look out or if we get a sell trigger again uh breaking this maybe we can look out okay so now we got a sell trigger here at the buy zone so we will not consider this until we get a retest entry retest entry is we'll wait for a green candle after this trigger that is what has happened now like you can see this we got a trigger in this candle now a green candle entry this is like a bias again uh coming back and the sellers asked to push this down like to again to go down like okay that will be our entry in case if you have to go for a fresh trade in this okay so as of now no uh short in this okay how would see again see we have to get a confirmation out here because uh, as of now it, let's see the how the price action is happening out um so for a fresh trade in this so nifty also as i said like this is the last buy zone that is still holding good so uh, as i said like in case if you are shorted this this zone low is where you at least book partially profit and trial and sit okay so what next uh, this zone if it is not taken on the upside it will begin spend some time and take this on either side okay so watch out for that okay so let's see bank nifty uh, okay where the closing of this candle comes if the closing closing comes above this right i think so if you are in taking a short uh, watch out for that okay So we look again uh, we'll get some good entry we'll look out otherwise uh, we'll wait for right opportunities again in the market
is reduces our print let's see if the low is compromised right then the fresh selling will again uh, can be expected it has to close below that s1 or that zone Other can I take call in Nifty? No, no call in Nifty too. So we we have to get some triggers out there for possibly going long. We can see uh, in Nifty too, right? It is just uh, trading in this range, but uh, one green, one red color candles getting formed out there. So still there is quite an indication and definitely no buying at this. Like okay, uh, let's wait. So any suggestions given no no fresh trades given out uh we have just uh whoever was there in the short uh i was just uh, asking out to book out this partially on sit uh our trial there sl above that uh, zone like okay what you identified uh no fresh entries as of now if s1 is compromised then maybe we can expect some move on the lower side but i'm not expecting a very big moves as such let's see uh See, this was the last buy zone here, right? That will be uh, likely to get tested in this. That is, this zone low can be tested. If this is broken out, right, then we can see some good moves on the lower side. Okay, so let's see. How oh, you wait for your confirmation before taking which index I should focus on for today? See, thing is like a uh, bank Nifty is much better from the morning if you see in the structure out Nifty in the if you see the Nifty right uh, fifteen minutes high low is not at all compromised from morning like that's the when the initial balance is not compromised right it's difficult to trade out like okay and we will not find any opportunities so I'll wait uh, suggest you for possible. Uh, bank nifty trade rather than nifty for today like okay your suggestion silver swing trade could you look at bajaj finance to buy any signal when it's near our zone let's check bajaj finance okay it has came back and pulled back on this see this breakout uh, is what can expect okay see this is a sell zone out here like okay there is quite a selling from morning at this zone okay uh we got a retest entry and now it is breaking out so if you are taking a buy on this uh this, this zone taken out on a closing basis then we can sit for the tc target okay cpr target okay so wait for a candle close above this that will be more confident of a target of a cpr So otherwise the would, uh, other would, uh, entry would have been if it comes here right retest and let me just three in three minutes time frame we had any opportunity over there like 
Okay, you can see this. So let the zone get broken out. Maybe then we can keep a stop loss below the day low, previous day low, and then uh, sit for this uh, CPF. Kind of a risky trade since it is in a sell zone. Okay, Bank Nifty uh, again kind of consolidating, kind of inside candle getting formed here kind of indecision s1 taken out maybe we can possibly uh expect it to come and test this bearish breakout uh and uh, lower otherwise again uh, might be in a range and then breakout of that range we can see some moves okay nifty uh again back in the range again taking this zone on the upside maybe it might again go and test this okay but uh, no clear indication of any triggers out here so possibly to to take a trade here like okay Let's see on a three minutes time frame we're getting any possible confirmation. Okay, three minutes. Uh, this candle has given a breakout uh, thing. Okay, buy trigger. Uh, if you are taking based on this, uh, this low will be the possible stop loss. A uh, zone closing on the upside. Immediate target will be this uh, intermediate CPR mid. Okay, that will be the possible thing. But not a very good clear setup for this. But uh, expected for a if a closing above this zone, right? We can expect this CPR as the first uh, level of quick scalp. Okay, IGL good for short. No, don't go for short in this. Immediately there is a buying pressure here. Um, so not a very good risk reward is there like, okay. So previously you can see this is the candle where the bulls pulled it up. So if you mark this right, this candle is where the, the bulls are sitting out like. So uh, if you want to play only for this, uh, with the candle stop loss above this, not worth the risk reward. So rather avoid for short in this. We had a shorting opportunity even here, it was a risky short. But uh, we got it from the sell zone, then it would have been better. Like in sense, uh, thing is like when it comes to those sell zones, right? Sometimes uh, on a lower time frames, you will get a early entry. Like you say, for example, if you go on a three minute chart, see, we can see this good reversal pattern. The trigger is not formed, but at the sell zone, we get a reversal pattern, something like this. Maybe we can play for this quick scalp and then we can trial. Okay. But at this point, I'd rather avoid short in this. It will eventually come here, but uh, not risk reward is necessary.
Okay, uh, what is that? Thanks. Trying to understand the impact of order blocks. Could you please take a look at Bajaj Finance as it moves towards sell zone? Let's check Bajaj Finance. The buying pressure is coming in like, okay. So now uh, thing is like this old candle, right? Is where the previous selling has come. And the uh, so if I consider this, right? The last zone was this where it went and tested and from there the selling started, okay? So now the buyers previously sold at this point, okay? So unless a closing above this is concerned, right? Uh, the sellers are still holding out. So a closing above this will give me a confirmation for a possible uh try for this but it's a risky trade because uh previously this old zone right this strong selling has come so we are trading against the thing so with a small zone stop loss if you want to take a risk uh green can close above this maybe high of that is taken out we can make for this quick scalp okay that's the logic behind it target for nifty scalp uh nifty scalp this zone this is the target uh, in case if you have taken a trade on this buy trigger in three minutes as i showed you right we got a trigger here based on this if you are uh, trading out this zone is the immediate first target to watch out okay not a very good uh, trade setup Let me close this out. Can I take uh, eighteen five hundred C now? No, no, as of now, 18500 18, CNA, you see, right? no, not clear signs, I'd rather wait. See, it's kind of a, if you see the pattern, right, it is kind of a W pattern. At least a breakout of this will give some confidence. Right? How do you explain by other blocks combining the previous candles in the motion? How do you explain is it? Okay, in this case, you can see all these are buyers that is getting back in place. The last buying was here, it came down again. The buyers pushed up, and all these are buying orders that is getting formed to get this on the upside. So now that will act as yes, possible again buy zones like so you can see this again at resistance it's giving some selling pressure this is the reason I said it should not we have need to have a confirmation on the breakout of this for a possible long okay and uh, I don't know whether it is order block here uh, you can see this there is a small sell order block sitting here so unless that order block is not taken out right the sellers are still active over there like okay so it will uh, it has to be taken out. Which which even small finance for positional right? Which even small finance back? See all uh, PSC bank is doing good. So uh, this is the weekly chart of that, right? Yes, this is a weekly chart of which even. So positionally, if you're holding, you can hold on. 
the stock is on the verge of again a fresh break so this is the last selling zone that was there now that is tested once this high is again taken out then we can see fresh buying in this okay so uh, this was the target in case if you have taken a buy on this or on this if you have taken a buy this is the target now this taken on the upside we again we can sit for this target of 31.9 and even 39 those are the targets on the upside for this in coming days provided this resistance is taken out 29.75 is taken out right we can sit for these targets okay nifty as i said this resistance is now getting tested out let's see so in case for scalp as you asked if you're bought at this trigger on the lower segments this is uh, the safe to book out partially on set until this zone is taken out to uh, we just hide this out Bank Nifty, if we get a buy trigger, I'll be more interested like, for a quick scan. Or the zone has to be compromised by a sell trigger. back nifty is giving a buy trigger here but immediate selling is there so we'll not uh, take this buy in case if you're already buying this hold on okay this resistance has to be broken out uh, for a possible uh, gain breakthrough on the upside okay till then uh, this buy will not be considered
okay 950 on three minutes right we got a sell trigger here let's see it might again come and test this day low i guess let's see so in case since someone is holding short watch out as i said like in case if you are holding short right the previous stop loss what we identified was this that still remains the same okay uh because uh this was the last low that was made so that stop loss is where that is still holding on okay so let's see ratish babu good morning good morning how can i subscribe for your plans see all you have to do is just go on to tradershedge.in that's the site uh, where you can subscribe uh, the indicator okay you can find the link of that in the description of this video and also i'm just pasting that uh in the comments of this video okay so just click that link uh, and uh, you can go and subscribe for the indicator welcome Ratish. you can also check the indicators playlist uh, wherein i made tutorials on how to use the indicator and uh, anyway i'll be trading live with you guys so you can also parallelly learn together how to use the indicator and how to understand the markets okay uh, bank nifty uh, sorry nifty is uh, holding up okay so in case if you guys are taking trade with this uh, zone low stop loss watch out for the breakout of this okay previously this is where the selling has come fresh buying safe buying if you want to do <coughs> let us break this out okay Okay, let's see. Uh, we can see this bank nifty as of now, uh, as we saw that right in a three minutes time frame. If you check bank nifty, we can see this uh, bank nifty is uh, given a sell trigger out here and now just holding on. So, whenever you get a sell trigger at the buy zone, as I said, we have to watch out for that uh, next green color candle that low getting compromised. That's where we look for. More confirmation and you can see this next green form it does not compromise the low so that means to say it's not a valid thing it's like a, the sellers are trying to come in but the buyers are again pushing it back like okay
Okay, 45 likes. So if someone new into the channel, uh, do subscribe, like and share. So no good as such, no moments, just trading in the range Nifty and Bank Nifty. Let's see. Yeah, there. Mandila. Mandila. Hey friends let's see no moments we're a little bit getting bored out here so i just <laughs> made a small uh video on uh, the setup and how i am speaking with you guys at this point of time maybe you can uh, check it out the video in the telegram just now posted Take this link what I posted in the comments as of now. Or you can uh, join the Telegram with the same name. You can find the description of the Telegram ID or uh, the description of this video link. Okay, the link for the Telegram. So you can see like how uh, my setup is there and how the setup from which I am speaking with you guys and sh streaming the chats with you. Not audible, is it? I'm not audible. 
from my side it's the voice is coming Can you guys hear me? Okay, fine. Thanks. Would like to have a broad screen yes uh in sense like i felt like uh, investment for a bigger screen is uh must i got this 34 inch samsung um, uh, lg monitor uh i felt uh it is good that's why i invested on it because uh, since we spend most of the time on in front of the screens a bigger screen would have been better like that's why i went for that like okay it's a lg uh, 34 inch monitor like what i went wide screen okay let's see nifty is trying to take this on the upside so as i said like in case nifty if you have taken the buy trigger on this uh this zone breakout is uh very much uh required if this breaks out right then we can see some buying pressure again coming back in uh, case of nifty okay this uh so you can trial your uh stop losses so how do you try the stop loss the last trigger we got it here so then you have to wait wait for the next uh, buy trigger on the upside a new green color candle make a new high then you can uh, put your uh, stop loss below the lower ones like okay and since the lower candle uh, previous to that will be your uh, trailing stop loss for that okay and we are also getting a buy trigger in case let's wait for this breakout so bank nifty no signs as of now like okay even on a lower time frames uh, on three minutes i don't see any buy there was a one sell here but that was uh, invalidated so no fresh buys over there even in the three minute time frame so as of now okay now previous candle there was a small buy but uh, this high is not taken out okay so let's see okay let's see let's see this nifty breakout okay let me share the photos
okay again the selling uh i just missed out because i was watching something else okay bank nifty uh again a sell trigger here again the low is getting tested okay so if this breaks down right uh the next possible will be this breakout zone okay so this will be the possible looking good as of now stop losses as of now like will be the previous stop loss that is still not hit so this zone has to be compromised for it to go down okay since it is in a buy zone right it's kind of risky but at the top of the buy zone we are getting a sell trigger so we can possibly look out for this <clears throat> we'll wait for this uh, high of this as a possible stop loss and then maybe we can expect to break this out on the lower side okay so uh, in that case right our uh, immediate stop loss targets will be this okay this will be the stop loss okay in case if you have taken this sell entry right as i said this will be the possible uh, retest entry okay so what uh, i'm just expecting is uh, since there's a buy zone right it might come for even for a retest on retest entry it will be much more uh, safer in this case okay because you can see this uh, sell order block that has been left so there is a chance of it coming for a re-entry to that zone like okay so that will be a better opportunity if you get it like okay and then uh, sit for this okay otherwise if you are taking this sl will be this as i say like it's kind of a risky entry but uh we can until this buy zone is compromised right uh it's not safe okay but uh it is giving a possible sell trigger but it is at the buy zone so in case if you get a retest entry and then you gain a short here that's more safer okay are you a keyboard player no i'm just uh learning a little bit on that <clears throat> let's see see thing is like again as i said uh a sell trigger at the buy zone we have to take extra care to short okay so this low is not getting compromised there is good chance again it will be ranging out so we'll wait for uh how it responds from here okay so it has come for a possible retest you can see this is a trigger it came to the buy zone again the buyers are pushing it back let's see if the low is getting compromised then we'll go for that okay so uh, nifty uh, is breaking this let's see if this breaks out right uh, you can trial your stop loss if that new high is made made right you can keep your stop loss below this trialing a stop loss Okay, nifty buy trigger given out so uh, now this stop loss will remain the same so we can see this uh, the previous selling has come somewhere from here right so uh, we'll watch out the immediate first zone will be to watch out USB this target zones okay and in case if you are going along Stop loss will be the below the trigger candle. But it is kind of a range bound. Like if you see the intramate rate, I'm not that. Uh, okay, CPR is taking on the upside. So we can take this with the stop loss below this. Okay. But it will be in a range. CPR high is this. If you mark the CPR high, right? This is the CPR high. That taken out, right? That will give a more confidence for us to go long for a possible target of 18,500. This high taken out, it's more confident to go for a target of 18505. Or if you already taken this trigger, trial it late. Okay. So, Bank Nifty also is giving this triggers. 
so let's see this Okay, Bank Nifty is giving a buy trigger. Let's see. Wait for the. If you are taking a, a long on this day low, will be a possible stop loss in case of uh, uh, Bank Nifty. Okay, because it has tested the buy zone and giving a possible buy trigger out here. Stay low will be a possible stop loss. On the immediate first target will be a CPR uh, intermediate CPR zone. Okay, that will be the first target to watch out. And then uh, let me just move clear this out okay so uh now this will be a possible stop loss at this point of time little bit bigger stop loss but uh then we can try it out okay or uh even the day low you can the trigger candle low will be your thing and then the cpr will be your possible first target okay that is the first target much So Nifty is also breaking that out. Okay, so uh, let's see. Wait for this candle close, and then you can trial your 
stop loss see new high is getting getting made so this cpr mid right that will be a possible stop loss okay trailing stop loss try your stop loss to this and then as i said like uh, we can expect a possible test of this is the first zone to be watched out this is this candles mid and then possibly uh let's see now this will be the possible first uh, level of targeting then we can possibly sit for this and higher dashboard is dynamic uh, it is dynamic in the sense like from the pre-calculated this sds uh, values we calculate but during the live right it doesn't get changed okay so it means to say it is not exactly dynamic but uh, it automatically gets updated based on your sds views okay going long in 15 fin nifty fin nifty uh, let's check think so it will be more in the same way so we had uh... okay see this is the cell block uh... previously this is where the sellers are there it is now testing out that like okay maybe this taken out this is the first target to watch out like okay so the from the buy zone we are getting here yeah we can but it will be in a range so you can see this is, CPR is quite wide so it will be trading in a small range so uh, yeah eventually i think so like from the buy zone it is pulling up so i am expecting it might come at least to this 19255 and maybe even test this uh 19282 like because that's where the next selling zones are there okay you can see these two other zones to be watched out in case of a breakout so this zone taken out maybe we can sit for this above one so it is currently at this resistance. This taken out, we can sit for this. Can you please explain what all charts you have on your multiple screens along with time frame on which you have shared now on some segment? See, uh, thing is, I have particular tabs only charts i have just watch out now is nifty and bank nifty like you have one chart with the uh, left side nifty bank nifty and right side on the nifty charts that what you are currently showcasing out and then i have separate charts for uh, nifty and bank nifty individual charts uh, that's it like i don't previously i used to watch so many things but now uh, i don't watch all those other things like because uh, saying is like we are in the trade for a certain period of time and for that particular period of time what is required that's that is all matters like and uh, since the uh, zones and things speaks out uh, where possible buyers and sellers are there so i don't uh, see multiple things out there okay so yeah this is a simple setup that i generally follow for my trades <clears throat> okay laptop uh, laptop i use for my trades for my entries and exits in my trades i use the laptop uh, and uh, the above one uh, one more monitor what I have uh, is for uh, seeing the live streams and for your chats and other things to read out uh, what you guys are typing out I have kept one screen so that I know like what you guys are typing and family and also I get a feedback monitor within which like uh, when I speak out I know like the volumes are coming or uh, any discrepancies is there so I can finally track that okay bank nifty is found this resistance so now you can see this uh, uh, this is the green candle that we got a trigger the next candle is a red candle safe entry is once uh, if this high is taken out right 
that is the safest entry to for it to again go on the upside okay so otherwise again it will be in a range so if you could if you have to wait out like we have to wait for that breakout and then take a trade others if you have taken a trade uh, then we'll see like in case this trigger candle low is compromised then maybe we'll uh, again uh, plan uh, to exit out otherwise we'll wait in the trade for this to be taken in the upside okay so this will be our updated uh, small sell in case if we have to take it out okay otherwise day low is the ideal sell okay Only thing is like since this is such a wide CPR, right? It will be trading in a very, very slow manner like. Okay, Nifty is heading to that first target. What we have put 18,497, 18,500 low zones. Okay, and then maybe you can try it. Anyone long in Nifty? Okay. <laughs> If the closing comes below this, uh, I'll exit my long and bank duty. Nifty also almost went to that first target levels and again showing some uh, retest for this uh, closing price. Let's see. So your stop loss in case if you're long on Nifty will be this uh, previous candle. Uh, trigger candle this one low back to the buy zone nifty sell trigger in five minutes in both the nifty as well as hdfc bank okay Book your profits in Nifty and trial. Okay, Bank Nifty, I have exited my long. Okay, uh, this was the anticipatory call before the. Uh, this is the when it is at resistance, right? CPR resistance. Uh, I should have waited for this high to be taken out for a long, but I entered immediately on this trigger, and this low is compromised. Uh, I just exit out. Okay, as I said, like in case someone wants to wait, they can wait for this day low. But I prefer to exit out at that point of time. Okay. So let's see again, again uh, fresh trade. Anything is there? Nifty has given a sell trigger from the CPR high. Okay. So looking a little bit again, coming back and testing this. So watch out for that.
can you add auto user defined option for indicator that feature was very useful and flexible okay the thing is like that's what like a uh, it uh, each one has a different opinion of it some people find it difficult to configure for their settings like instance someone wants to do a, a swing trade they have to go and change the settings again for a positional they have to do a setting and intraday they want everything to be a different like so that's the reason i just gave a one click option of uh, for in, intraday and other things let's see like in case if i could be able to accommodate both together like auto and this i will uh, try to work on that like okay but the thing is like that so there is a limitation in the trading view and how much features that i can add in one indicator so that is also one more thing that i have to work out on uh, since it's not allowing me to give everything in one indicator like okay okay uh, i think so now the sellers are coming back in again and uh, the day low is compromised uh, we can possibly expect uh, this to go okay so let's see see some fresh selling in case the day low is compromised bank nifty s1 getting compromised right we can expect it to come and test this let's see any triggers bank nifty let me just clean this nifty chart okay let me just clean the nifty nifty let's see like the cpr is getting compromised again then we can see from so fresh selling coming in there we got a trigger at the high of it but uh this is a very big buying candle so it will not break down that easily like okay so let's wait and see let's see bank nifty whether it is holds that uh, s1 support s1 getting compromised there's good chance of bank nifty again going and testing these rows so we'll get some selling opportunities in that okay Let's see. This one is still holding on.
see this morning this was one cell trigger right it is still validated on So H1 is the last line of support for bank nifty. If that is getting compromised, right, we can see some moves. But else again, it will be trading in that range. Nifty again trading in that CPR range. But yeah. Okay, let's see kind of a reversal pattern forming in case of uh, Bank Nifty. Let's see if S1 is getting compromised, right? We can see some moves. this r1 and s1 is what i have tweaked in the new version of the update of the indicator so which will be dynamically calculated uh, based on the market opening okay so and you can see beautifully in case of uh, nifty today right r1 is where it find resistance on the upside and then s1 is what it has been holding for last almost one hour like okay so uh, this helps us in our trade uh, in sense uh, to know the uh, key important resistance and support in the market for that particular specific day like okay so that uh, guides us so many times on the market like okay when the market is around those range right uh, we can take a more better decisions around it it is called as last line of uh, resistance and last line of support 
so that last line of support is getting compromised right we can see some moves Just turn it back into bits. Can you see PL? Yes, morning we saw PL. Uh, it had that beautiful rally. Let's see uh, whether it could able to break out. No. Okay, this is what we said in the morning. This is the weekly resistance that is taken. Now it is kind of consolidating inside this CPR. You can see this is the CPR high. That was the resistance. Now it is just holding on. The stock is uh, highly bullish. You can see higher rise getting made. The last buying interest came somewhere over here, like okay. So it is now kind of I don't like what's your position in this, but um, if you are taking a long uh, the CPR mid call getting compromised, uh, maybe we can watch out like okay, uh, exit your longs. Otherwise, uh, if there's no other trades as of now, as I'm saying, like, no no shorting in this stock as of now for today, like. Okay, let's see Nifty, sorry, Bank Nifty. Still S1 support holding good. Dhanyavada Praveen.
Okay, what PL at eight forty C is it? Positionally, if you are holding on, uh, you can, I guess, let's see the daily chart of this. For intraday, I think so, the high is, high of the day is kind of done, like, okay. So, uh, positionally, if you are holding a uh, PL, uh, you can hold on, like, okay. You can see this is the one resistance that you are seeing on a daily chart. Okay, this, previously, this is where the selling has come in the market. It is currently at resistance, so watch out for that, okay. Your stop loss will be this uh, 809, okay. The mid of this, below this closing, uh, maybe it might again pull back. So it is currently at resistance, watch out. all last three candles if you see right all the three candles are kind of an inside candles that has been made so a breakout on either side right we can see some good moves okay let's see if s1 is getting compromised that will be favoring us in sense it will we can expect that to, to test that um buy zone low The next uh, session CPR is also formed in case of uh, both the index. So let's see, wait for five minutes. We'll see uh, how the structure looks out. As as of now, it is a descending CPR that is being formed. Let's see the CPR how it gets developed out and where the current pricing is there with that. <laughs> So around uh, 135 140 is where we are expecting some moves the s1 support is still holding on that means to say the buyers are still uh, mm -hmm. held on so let's see whether the buyers could able to sustain it out see this candle around this uh, 255 right if i just mark that candle after that big move that started during the expiry right that was in this candle 
so let me just mark that candle this is the candle where the previous order blocks were placed out and then the market blasted from there okay so if i just take this this is the old zone of that candle so that is the same candle now it is holding up so all those people who took the market again from yesterday from there right they are all defending it out uh, that price so that is why it is not able to break that easily from there let's see can bank nifty reach again 43020 chances are there let's see this if it sustains right it will again go and test this so now the new resistance will be this morning this resistance is still holding good so let's wait and see So this is the channel it has been trading out from morning now if you see the next uh, last session cpr right this last session cpr is uh, this is the last session cpr okay this trading uh, bearish uh, alignment cpr if the market has to really uh, move on the upside right uh you can see this cpr has to be taken on the upside and then this is the immediate sell zone for this okay so that has to be compromised okay then we can see some buying in case of uh bank nifty okay so uh need to watch out in case how this reflects from this it has to break down the cpr low is this this will be breakdown so this zone what we marked right that is very much the same okay so uh, again the buying is coming over here the buyers so let's see So if you see this, this is the intermediate CPR mid.
in case of bank nifty uh, nifty if you are seeing right it's quite bullish this is the next uh, intermediate cpr and it is kind of an inside value cpr okay inside candle cpr so we can expect some volatility in case of uh, nifty okay and you can see this kind of an inside inside cpr so nifty we can expect some go movements in the last session of the day like okay so uh, uh, as of now it is bullishly aligned you can see it is trading well above the cpr so chances of pullback can be there like on the upside okay in case if it has to break right this cpr low has to be compromised that is 18473 if it is compromised right uh, then we can expect it to again come and test this uh, 18450 and lower levels okay otherwise as of now uh, nifty is bullishly aligned and bank nifty it is showing some bearishness stay trading still uh, at the below the cpr okay but it is at a strong buy like from yesterday this price zone so that's why it is just holding on let's see unless s1 is not compromised uh, selling is not advisable chance of a pullback is there let's see we, we wait for some triggers over there nifty gave a buy trigger it is again going and testing out let's see TC will be the first target in case uh, of bank nifty if it moves, uh, sorry, nifty in case if it moves on the upside. The mid of uh, intermediate CPR mid is taken up by Nifty Bank Nifty 2. So there is some bullishness. So it might uh, test this CPR high. Um, so you can see this order block wise. You can see this is where the last selling came, right? Just clean this out. You can see this between these two candles, uh, it left an order block. That's where the sellers entered. So that will has to be taken out for buyers to again dominate let me just mark that in red Okay, bank nifty is testing that sell zone out there
the buyers are getting back in let's see so this is the intermediate sell zone now like if uh, it has to take it on the upside right this has to be taken on the upside Okay, bank nifty is finding some rejection from that sell zone let's see Okay, looks like the bulls are again getting back in, let's see.
Ailes view for short term. So you see, Bank Nifty is uh, finding that resistance. So we can see this. That is the the zone. This is marked out, right? That is the resistance for a uh, Bank Nifty now. Like, and there's a strong support at this zone. Like, so we can see a confluence of. Uh, uh support getting formed here so that's the reason it could not break on either side but uh let's see like if this low that is s1 is getting compromised right then we can see some moves okay so for that uh, let's see now let me just also plot cpr The thing is like uh, I made the, each of these options uh, totally customizable so that uh, you can pull out the things what you want okay and then keep only those on the charts and then you can get rid of the other things like so this will be like because like each one when they trade right hello hello ah. Ah, hello In one second, uh, let me just make some change, quick change. This one, this one we want. So I'll, you can customize the way we want like this and then uh, maybe you can save as a template so that uh, it's easier whichever versions you want which are the values or which are the parameters that you want to check right that you can keep it active and then use it okay so at this point of time right i just want to see that uh, it does uh, respecting the cell zone okay and this is the buy zone for this this breakout we can see again the moves on the up okay so that's the important thing for me to watch out so i'll just keep that on the charts okay reliance short term view let me just check reliance See, reliance it is trading in this so now it is heading towards that target of uh, 2696 it is looking bullish as of now you can see it is trading about the monthly r1 and trying to test this on the upside watch out for that okay and uh, which is the other stock hdfc light hdfc light
Okay, this is a short term. And since I'm seeing the weekly, let me just check the daily candles. So it is also given a breakout on this date, November 22nd. Now it is heading higher. And uh, the target to watch out is this. Okay, this is the target to be watched out. That is 590 to 604. This is the immediate uh, resistance for that. So that will be a target in case of HDC life. Okay, let's see. Nifty, Bank Nifty is still struggling with that sell zone. And uh, Nifty 2 just holding on there, like. Nifty is just trading in that morning range itself, very difficult to trade out like. Let's see, like after this uh, beautiful rally in this week, right? Maybe over the weekend, people don't want to carry positions. Maybe they might keep it, uh, expect some profit booking. Let's see. Okay, Nifty, there is some buying pressure coming in case of Nifty. You can see this, it is taking on the upside. So this TC will be the first level to watch out on this, this. Let's wait. And in case of Bank Nifty too, right? If the sell zone is taken out, right? We can see some uh, moves. Nifty has given that breakout. This is the first level to watch out in Nifty, and then maybe you can sit for this Abu Cell Zone.
is also bullishness seen in case of a bank nifty you can see and even on the 15 minutes right we are getting some buy triggers out there like So, and uh, almost the high of that sell zone is also taken out. We have a monthly CPR here, sorry, daily CPR out here. So, that will again act as a resistance. But if you are taking a, this, uh, this will be a possible stop loss below this. But uh, this monthly CPR is there. So, it is just trading out there. Like, okay. So, uh, as I said, now this is the immediate resistance to watch out that taken out. We can sit for this sell zone. Okay. Nifty TC is taken out. Now uh, you can see the next selling pressure is for this is around deal. This will be possible expected target. You see this. Let's see the TC is taken out by this candle, a green candle close above that and the high taken out, this will be the possible uh, level to watch out. is also bank nifty also is trying to break this out the central pivot let's see that breakout right we can again see some good moves Okay, nifty tc is giving resistance so again back in range let's see where the closing happens
Okay, guys, so okay, let's see now again back for the rejection. Yeah, it was just little trading in the range now, like so. Fresh buy will be that's mid of the CPR taken on the upside. That is where it's a safer bet now that is acting as a resistance. So, let's see here. Also, the CPR is not compromised in case of Nifty 2. This is the high of the CPR that is holding on. Now there is no zone alerts uh, as of now on the indicator. And since it shows on the graph but you don't get alerts. Friends, uh, I'll be the closing the session a little bit early today, okay, uh, as some personal work. So, uh, another five minutes, I'll just be closing the session. So, as you, uh, as of now, the situation is something like this. It has found that morning support still holding good. It is trading in this range. This range breakout can expect some moves on either side, okay. So, in case uh, if the S1 is compromised, we can see some good moves on the lower side to bearish breakout and maybe lower. Uh, otherwise, uh, if the zone or central pivot is taken on the upside, right, then we can expect the upper uh, sell zone to be tested in case of bank meeting. Same with uh, Nifty 2, uh, the CPRTC is taken on the upside. We can expect a possible resistance of uh, bearish reversal at uh, that sell zone on the upside. Okay, that is what we are expecting. Otherwise, it will be trading in this uh, parallel range to uh rest of the session maybe uh we can expect some volatility because uh, as we can see some uh in the nifty right at least it is trading in that range from quite from uh, from the morning like so if that range is taken out right during the closing we can expect but uh as of now uh i'm expecting it might uh, settle down in a range today like that's how it looks out okay so if any questions i'll just able to answer and uh, otherwise on the next five to three minutes uh, we'll close the session for the day and we, again we'll catch up live uh, on monday morning okay have a happy weekend and uh, in case uh, if you want to subscribe for the indicator you guys know in case someone new in the channel uh, you can check out the link in the description of uh, this video streaming uh, you will find the link how uh, to uh, subscribe for the indicator okay so any questions or anything you can ask me in the telegram the telegram is of the same name as the youtube channel trader sage can you enter p now uh see thing is like the thought like it will be trading in a small narrow range like this if you're entering you have to sit for this uh quick uh support like but uh, no clear uh resistance this two candles based on these two candles if you want to make a trade stop loss will be above that okay uh, i'll rather wait for this at least this uh, uh, trigger candle getting a short something like this or uh the sell zone getting compromised okay until then there is good chance again it might bounce back on the upside uh, because it is coming from a buy zone right so uh we have to 
wait for uh, a clear confirmation to go for short see see all these small small triggers right it is uh, it is uh, immediate resistances and supports are there like so that's why uh not a very clear setup for any good moves like so mornings and all like if you can see right we got a sell here and then some decent moves were there because uh there, it was far like but now uh, you can see it is all crumbled together so it will be more in a range like okay so better to avoid fine guys uh happy weekend we'll again catch up on monday morning for a live session okay so let's see in case if you need any questions put me in the telegram i'll be able to help you out on that take care bye